Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope everyone's having a good day. So, I want to talk about Israel. What and who Israel is that is under a common misconception today of what Israel is and what it means. So, if you talk to a lot of people in America, they'll tell you um, the Hebrew Israelites is they are a race, a particular race. Um, you hear people in America say that the state of Israel in the Middle East is the chosen holy land, and that the people that are in that state are the chosen holy people. Um, and we can't go against them because that's, you know, Allah's chosen land and chosen people. Um, there is a lot of education that needs to be put towards this to bring it into the proper perspective. Um, first of all, the state of Israel that is in the Middle East right now is not the chosen holy land whatsoever. That state is not old at all. It is it's not very old. I don't even believe it's a hundred years old yet. The Zionists took land. They put the name Israel on the land. That does not make it Israel. So to put that in proper perspective, let's talk about what and who Israel is. Bani Israel. The children of Israel. Who is Israel? Jacob. Jacob's name is Israel. Bani Israel is the children of Jacob. Which, yes, Allah did bestow his favors on and favored them above all people. And gave them the covenant and gave them certain functions they had to perform to continue to be under that covenant. However, the Zionist Jews that are in the state of Israel, the land, they are not upholding the covenant. They're Zionists, they murder and steal and cause great oppression to the people surrounding them. They're not favored upon at all because they have transgressed. So that being said, the Israelites is not a specific race. It is not a specific landmark. It is not a specific religion other than monotheism and those who uphold the covenant between them and Allah. However, Jews, the word Jew, comes from those who practice Judaism. Judaism comes from those who follow Judah. So there again, we're talking about a specific people that follow someone, Judah, which makes that Judaism, which would make them Jews, is not a specific race. Again, people nowadays from all sides have turned the Israelites and the covenant of the Israelites and Jews into race and that the specific race whatever race that everyone believes that the Jews and the Hebrews and the Israelites are with absolutely no real historical document specifically saying this skin color or this area is the original Hebrew Israelites and these people are blessed regardless of what they do it's just there's no there's nothing to support that okay so regardless of what race the Israelites are we don't know who the descendants of Jacob are specifically today um, but regardless of that even the true Hebrew Israelites they are not protected under the covenant if they don't uphold the covenant. That's the main thing you have to keep in mind here when we're talking about Bani Israel and the covenant. You cannot just go do whatever you want 
because you believe you are a Jew or a Hebrew Israelite and expect that since you are a chosen people, you get heaven regardless. That is absolutely insane and contradictory to the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran. So, with that being said, the Zionist Israel, uh, Israelite state over there now who are murdering innocent Palestinians, they don't fit into the covenant of Israel anywhere. I mean, who are they? They're imposters, and there's nothing special or chosen about those people, guys. We need to be educated on subjects of biblical matter and religious matter when we decide to teach or we decide to spread words or whatever. Uh, but the truth is the truth. People have put race into everything. They want their race to be prominent. They want their race to be superior. And even people who are not necessarily from the specific race they believe to be the chosen people, they will still support it too for who knows what reasons. But the main thing is with the clear guidance of the Quran we can understand what Israel is and what it is not and that they are not chosen as to being so special they can do or commit whatever they want to that they have to uphold the covenant and those who do not you are not it is your transgressors and kafir and that is the hellfire for those people and as far as race and trying to use uh, race in religion the Quran is very specific on that too that he did favor the children of Jacob and that's in there but it's also in there that he created the race is different only so that we can get to know each other nah, and that uh, no one race has any superiority to the other that is in the Quran so let's get educated people on what it is and what's what and uh, let's realize that because someone is a particular race and from a particular land that it does not make them special it really does not the only thing that is going to make you special or favored upon when it comes to the Allah, God Almighty, is you upholding the covenant that he has given to us, which the final and last covenant has been revealed in the Holy Quran by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that is to worship only one God, the God alone, no partners, no children. Uh, none of that stuff and for us Muslims to pray our five daily Salah prayers um, That's pretty much the gist of it what Israel is and what Israel isn't So I can promise you right now the Zionist state of Israel over there right now. They are just pretty much terrorists They're not any favored people of God Assalamu alaikum. And now, before I finish, let me say that no, not all of the Jews are in that group. I'm talking about mainly the government, the Zionist government. However, there are people that support it. But I have also seen Jews over there protesting the evil terrorism that their government is taking part in against the Palestinians. Um, anyway, guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.